Hey guys, just uh, quickly to show you quickly how to use the new messaging system in uh, Unity. Since 4.6, it's not super well documented, but it's also pretty easy to use. And of course, the main advantage is that it's a non broadcast type uh, messaging system. So uh, that means you can detect the target object in runtime uh, instead of having it preset or you know adding to listeners and stuff like that which is usually regarded to uh, global event systems uh, for global event systems I recommend um, you don't use any text based you know key keys or strings for that is just um, not very type safe or <laughs> easy to debug or anything so this system from will Miller it's awesome, just search for that string, you're gonna find it. It's amazing, very easy to use. So, for um, actual runtime uh, events, I, well, I was really looking for something that could be uh, basically as simple as the, the send message. Well, the problem that, uh, the problem with send message is that it's just slow, you know, very, very slow and Besides, it's not type safe, so you end up on save. Same caveat you get from uh, these multiple messaging systems that you can find in Wiki. So I wouldn't recommend it as well. So <clears throat> um, to get a really nice type safe event system, um, I recommend using this guy. So it's very easy to do, just implement the interface. Uh, event system handler and then you just create a class with this guy or a class with multiple of these guys I just prefer uh, just breaking them apart and um, then your class your actual uh, component model behavior guy also has to implement this new uh, interface system let's go like that which define the message. So that's all pretty simple. The problem with that is when you try to run the execute uh, message, it's just cumbersome to look at. I'll do it as type safe, uh, has everything you need, and um, you know, an animal's uh, messaging type, where you can just fire up any method following the signature. It also takes uh, data if you're uh, receiving guy needs to take for instance a structure or a class with information from the event you can do it but most of the times you just want to fire up an event um, and i really wanted to have this simpler so what i did was a um, simple wrapping guy so let me show how does it work so first i have the uh, weapon script which i've attached to a simple capsule as you can see in this demo scene and I have a target guy which is going to be hit by this one so the weapon guy has the weapon script which causes some damage on contact and the target guy has an armor script and a health mount so uh, this is all pretty simple so I'm here on, on console and um, it's a great ID by the way I, I deeply recommend it if you haven't check that out yet, it's free and based on JetBrains amazing IntelliJ Community Edition so yeah, just go for it, forget them all as well please so um, this is the default method to call it just execute events, then execute a certain interface, I just have this iArmor which implements the iEvent system handler don't forget adding these using the line at the top, you gotta use it uh, even with the the system that I've done, so and then you just uh, describe the signature of the methods that it has to implement. So I just I just added three step methods: apply damage, decrease armor, increase armor, which could be a buff or debuff thing. So that's all you have to do, and just save the script, and there you have it. <clears throat> then armor has to implement this guy so it can be detected by the new messaging system and by the way the new messaging system is pure C-sharp so yeah it should be an order of magnitude 
faster than the uh, the standard send message method, the, the older send message method. So it just has a health um, and the method, of course. I just auto implemented this guy, which uh, console does automatically for me as soon as I type this. I implement the methods, and then I have apply damage and uh, just decrease the damage with the taken damage, of course. And then I do the bug log just so we can check it's done its magic. Okay, so in weapon I'll have this uh, on trigger enter and then I take the collider, I need to use the game object as a target, so I just take the game object from the collider that was hit I don't send any custom data and then I type a lambda, this is just a custom method um, sorry, I mean an anonymous method uh, that, that I just cast using this lambda with two parameters I think the second guy is related to the to the parameters. I'm not using it right now, but I still need to write it like that. Could use other letters, of course. Uh, so I just get the the uh, the object and cast the uh, apply damage as long as it has the eye armor implemented, which is exactly what we want. If it doesn't have eye armor, it won't do a thing. It's great. Okay, so fully decoupled. Awesome. So as soon as you with play, you can see that it does apply the damage and there's a new health. It's now 90, 80, 70. Great. So it could work as a damage, simple damage system. Beautiful. So uh, what I wanted to, uh, to do was to shorten this guy. So uh, this was a static, easy, ma I call it an easy massive system. Uh, so it just auto adds itself as a single turn. And it's not my behavior, so I don't need to have it attached. It, it's just data, pure data. As soon as it's called, it, it auto initializes, which is no problem since it has no game object overhead or anything. So, what I do is I just have a send method and send, ch send children method for now, of course. It encapsulates um, the complexity, let's call it like that, of writing uh, that send message thing. So, in practice, what I have to do is to just type is message dot send. Then I go brackets the interface, the armor interface, and then the target guy, and then the lambda with the anonymous method that I'm using. So I have this apply damage, which is uh, a message which is inside armor decreases the the armor, etc. Okay, so um, that's all you need to do, actually, pretty simple. If you want it even uh, easier to write, let's call it like that, and you can simply take off this complexity and put it, you know, in a, in a variable, which is the third example. So I just declared a, an event function, I armor type, and gave it a name. And then in a way I initialize it, <clears throat> it won't allow you to initialize it, initialize it directly. At least I couldn't make this work. So I just did it on awake. And then you can just take easy message dot send my armor type. And then I just send to the target object the apply damage message. Which, you know, if you're if you're doing this many, many times, it's probably a good idea if you're doing to to different guys and you know um, I don't know maybe multiple damage or you have to just write this line multiple times this makes things shorter and of course you could have multiple guys like those like um, apply damage apply buff debuff whatever okay so that's it I just uh, added to a, to a small package and put the link on this video I hope you've enjoyed it see ya